we have the element of surprise here if we go out with guns Uh huh. That's not a normal smasher, no? He looks a little bit different. What does look a bit different? This boss or whatever. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's bigger. So don't step down right now. You understand. Stay up there for now. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, ammo is probably directly. over there. No, it's directly okay. left down of us. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Reload. Okay, so. Okay. Dun, Bigger to me, of course. Just jumping around.
of shit. That was nice. <laughs> wow, that was cool. stage i wonder if it is gonna be actually like the ending of the game i mean to be honest story wise it's not that much going on but still after relay tower we only have tundra down to check out but let me just talk to luna are you happy Whew, little thing. things are back to how they were for now i can't tell you how close it was down here I have nothing but the utmost gratitude for bringing comms back online. We took a bit of a hit on our stalker harvest, but most of you will survive. If we all do our part, maybe, just maybe, in time, life will be more than just harvest. Glad I defrosted you, rookie! <laughs> Yeah, there are no current objectives, so that's essentially the ending of the game for now. A bit shallow in story, gameplay-wise really fun, like pretty much just add more variety in minibuses and normal mobs, not only putting ice on it for an additional armor. After campaign, I don't see myself playing it more, to be honest. Of course, there's this harvest and just upgrade, but if you're skilled in headshots or whatever, then like nothing really matters, just the accuracy. Of course, if you find a really fun group of people to play a couple matches a day, yeah, that's a essentially the end game of it but other than that nothing really else still i really like after the fall like this is a very big step up and in the next video we'll check out the tundra dome but i'm waiting for future updates